In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Bordeaux. At number one, we have Place de la Bourse. This iconic square is a symbol of Bordeaux's grandeur. Designed by Louis Thimphine's favorite architect, Jacques Gabriel, the square is a photographer's dream, especially when its beauty is reflected in the water mirror across the road. Children and adults alike revel in the mist and shallow waters of this modern installation. At number two, we have La Cité du Vin. This is not just a museum, it's an experience. The building itself is an architectural marvel, designed to evoke the swirl of wine in a glass. Inside, you'll find interactive exhibits that take you on a journey through the history and culture of wine. The experience culminates in a wine tasting at the Belvedere Bar, offering panoramic views of the city. At number three, we have Bordeaux Wine Tours. Bordeaux is the world's wine capital, and what better way to experience it than by touring its prestigious vineyards? Whether it's saint Emilion, the Medoc, or Sauternes, each region offers a unique tasting experience. The tours often include a walk through the vineyards, a visit to the vat rooms, and of course, wine tasting. At number four, we have Quais de Bordeaux. This waterfront promenade is a feast for the eyes, lined with grand neoclassical buildings. It's a perfect place for a leisurely walk or bike ride, offering plenty of benches and green spaces to relax and take in the views of the Garonne River. At number five, we have La Grosse Cloche. This 15th century belfry is one of the few remnants of Bordeaux's medieval past. The bell itself weighs a staggering 7,750 tons and only rings on special occasions like Bastille Day. It's a fascinating piece of history that stands in stark contrast to the city's more modern attractions. At number six, we have Bordeaux Cathedral. Despite being stripped of its original decor during the French Revolution, the cathedral remains a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. It's also historically significant as the wedding site of Eleanor of Aquitaine and the future Louis VII. At number seven, we have Esplanade des Quinconces. This massive public square hosts a variety of events and is home to the Monument aux Girondins, a tribute to the political group that played a significant role in the French Revolution. The monument is particularly photogenic, featuring a column topped with a statue of liberty and fountains with rampaging bronze horses. At number eight, we have Grand Théâtre de Bordeaux. Built in 1780, this architectural gem is a must-see, especially when it's illuminated at night. If you get a chance, book a ticket to a performance by the Bordeaux National Opera to experience the theater's lavish interior. At number nine, we have Jardin Public. This English-style garden is a green oasis in the heart of the city. It's a perfect spot for a picnic or a leisurely stroll, surrounded by 18th-century townhouses and featuring a serpentine pond, statues, and fountains. At number 10, we have Musée d'Aquitaine. This museum offers a deep dive into the region's history, featuring artifacts that date back 27,000 years. It's a must-visit for history buffs, offering a comprehensive look at Bordeaux's past. At number 11, we have Rue Saint-Catherine. This bustling street is Europe's longest pedestrianized shopping avenue. From high-end brands to bohemian boutiques, it offers something for every shopper. At number 12, we have Porte Caillot. This gate is another fragment of Bordeaux's medieval walls and serves as both a triumphal arch and a city defense. It offers a photogenic view of the Garonne River and is a testament to Bordeaux's rich history. At number 13, we have Place de la Victoire. This square features a modern art installation that pays homage to Bordeaux's winemaking heritage. It's a lively area surrounded by 18th century townhouses and a triumphal arch. At number 14, we have Pont Jacques Chabon Delmas. This vertical lift bridge is a modern marvel and has quickly become a treasured landmark for the city. It's particularly captivating at night when its four towering columns are illuminated. At number 15, we have Canelais. These small pastries are a Bordeaux specialty, made with vanilla, rum, and cane sugar. They're the perfect sweet treat to end a meal or to enjoy with a cup of tea. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Bordeaux. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.